Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards, and today we're going to be using up some designer series paper, and this one is called Hand Pinned. I thought, I need to use this paper up. So I made, we're going to do this card, but I made several different cards using this paper. Because I wanted to use it up. And so what I did was I took the cardstock colors that are in the paper and I chopped up my designer series paper into four by five and a quarter inch pieces. And then I did my cardstock um, pieces in four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then I, I just put them on different colors, okay? And then I took and started decorating the card fronts. And then I just put them on a piece of uh, ba uh, thick basic white cardstock that's uh, four and a, or five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. This one we're going to create today, but I have this one that opens this way. I didn't decorate the insides yet. And for this one, I, I'm using um, these doilies. And for this one, I took one of the doilies, turned it over, and used the blender brush to put the... Uh, blushing bride on there and then I took my circle punch and punched out the center of this piece before I put it on here and I cut the center out of the doily to do the sentiment anyway if there's any of them that you want me to demonstrate just we can number them I'm doing this one today so this one is number two. This one is number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. These are pretty basic. Some of it's got retired ribbon on it. But um, it's what I had. So anyway, let's do this card today. Got all the pieces cut out. Only thing I don't have is a is a base but that's okay because you're just gonna glue it on there anyway so what I did was I took a piece of the designer series paper like I said this is a four by five and a quarter this is garden green and it is four and one eighth by five and three eighths and I took a piece of the designer series paper which is the back of, let's see, this one. It's got the dot, dots on it. And I took and cut it to measure for you. This is, or was, three quarters of an inch wide by five and one fourth. And then I took the die this die from pinned flowers and die cut this so all we're going to do is glue this to the side of the card make sure this kind of looks like it has direction so make sure you're not upside down um, when you put it on your card base so we're just going to glue this or you can use your um, I don't know what it's called. I don't have any. The tape runner. Whatever it is. I haven't bought any of that yet. Because I, I like the liquid glue. Pretty much for most everything. So we're going to put that on there. And then I cut a piece of the garden green. This is. 7 eighths wide. And it was probably three and a quarter inches long 
This one is three quarters wide and it was probably about two and now oh, let's see maybe it was three inches long I trimmed it down and so I'm just going to I use this punch right here oh. I use this punch to punch the ends but you don't have to use a punch you can just cut it um, you can cut it you know however you want to do it and then I stamped it using the sweet as a peach the thanks so much and this one is the happy birthday from this stamp set I only use three stamp sets flowing flowers hand pinned and sweet as a peach I drop my cards I was gonna tell you what was on them getting to the point where I get down on the floor and it's hard to get back up. Okay, this one is from Sweet as a Peach and the flower is from Hand Pinned. And I just colored it with the fill-ins. And then this one, Feel Better Soon, is from Hand Pinned. This one, Happy Birthday is from Flowing Flowers. And the thanks on this one is from Hand Pinned. And the thank you from this one is from Flowing Flowers. And the flower is this one. I think that's all. And these are from this punch right here. These little cut cutouts. Okay, I think that's everything. Now let's do, finish this card. Now that I've showed you all of this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is glue this. I still didn't let my glue dry out. Okay, and I wanted a really thin border, so that's why I cut this the way I did. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the older I get, if I try to get down and pick something up and I get too far down, I have a hard time getting back up. Still having a little bit of trouble on my knee that I when I fell and hurt it in January, but it's almost all healed. So then you can either take the punch and try and get this to the right as close as you want it or you can take your scissors and cut down the center like so till you're within you know where you want it and then cut across like this right to the center like that and it works just as well as the punch I used the punch on the other one, but then I had to trim it because it wasn't exactly how I wanted it. See, now this is a little bit wide, so you just trim it a little bit more to so get it. I have this thing about things being perfect. Like right here, this is thicker than this side. I don't know why. So I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. Till it looks the way I want it to look. It's like that. Okay. Now you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to decide do I want my sentiment down here? Do I want it in the center? Do I want it up here? I think on this one, um, I kind of like it in the center because it doesn't leave so much white space. It's not really white, but blank space up at the top. I like it right here. So I'm going to take my bow that I, I tied around a can that I have. And then I put a glue dot on the back. And I'm going to cut this, my ribbon, 
here. Take my... I love these paper pumpkin glue dots. And then I'm going to put it in the center here. Right here. Well, it doesn't have to be exact, but close. On here. Just like so. Okay. And then you can either trim some of the ends off. You don't have to. The scissors aren't very good. They got sticky on them. Okay. And I, I just use scotch tape. But you can use your tape runner or whatever you want. And I just taped it to the back. Like so. Now you can, you don't have to put this on a white card base. You can use any of the colors in here. Like you could use this color. I don't know if I have one cut out that color. I'll see. Okay. I usually keep a box of them cut out, but I don't know that I... Oh, there's one. I think that's the right color. Let's see. Yeah. Let's do this for a sample. You could do it with that on the back. Or glue it to that. You don't have to glue it to white like this one is. And then I took this. And I just put glue dot, or Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. So I wanted it to stand, uh, stick up. I've been trying really hard to use up some of this designer series paper and it I end up with less a lot of cards. So I give them away to a nursing home close to where I live. I don't I can't possibly mail out as many cards as I make. Anyway, then you're just gonna put this centered right there. Make sure it's level. Okay. And then I took these um, rhinestones and I just put some rhinestones on there kind of just random and I just used three of the small ones oh. let's see let's put this one that's your card. Really, really, these are really simple cards. I like, sometimes I like complicated, but other times it's like I don't have time to do complicated. This one, I just cut the, the doily in fourths. And this is a, just a piece of the designer series paper, and then this is Blushing Bride. And for that... Um, label I just use these are from the tasteful labels dies this one right here and then this one I die cut the flower out and I used it this was a retired embossing folder that I used on there but this is uh, Highland Heather and this one is has Misty Moonlight and Blushing Bride and uh, I think that's Pool Party. And then this one is the Cinnamon Cider. This is the same dies as this one. These are retiring. These dies. I think they're... I um, can't remember the name of them. Anyway, I know they're retiring. And then this one, I used a doily. I cut this doily in half on this one. And then kind of just put it in the corners. But anyway, um, these are the cards that I've been working on. And I've got a lot more to make. As you can see. Oops. Um... 
but they don't take very long because once you've got the, the paper all cut up and your card stuck all, card stock all cut up, it's really easy to make the cards. You just decorate them and you pick a design that you like and then just go with it. Start decorating. So I hope you like these cards. If you have any questions um, or if you want me to demonstrate how I made some of these others, uh, just tell me which one you, you want to see. Say, oh, I want the Highland Heather one, or I want the Blushing Bride one, or the Misty Moonlight one, or I like the Cinnamon Cider ones. However you want to tell me which cards you want me to demonstrate. But they're very, very simple. So I hope you have a blessed day. Um, you've got until, let's see, let me get my catalog and I'll tell you. Things are, are running out fast. They're, if you go on there and it won't let you order it, it means that they're, they don't have it anymore. But this catalog ends uh, May 2nd is the last day for this one. And then this one you've got until June. Um, June something. I don't know. I just know it's into June, this one is. I don't know if it's June 30th or I think it might be. But I'm not real specifically positive. It might be, yeah, it might be June 1st. I don't know. Anyway, these are still available. But like I said, things are running out. So if you're interested in any of these items and... You don't have a demonstrator and you'd like me to be your demonstrator, just go to my website and you can order there. Um, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, so if you like my videos and want to see them, I try to do them once a week. I'd like to start doing lives, but we need a thousand subscribers for YouTube, so. Please subscribe and like my video, share with your friends, and um, I hope you have a blessed day and that you have fun stamping. Thank you so much for watching.